If you advertise in Google Ads, sometimes the best way to save money is by not showing up at all. For example, let's say that your business sells women's clothing instead of men's. Instead of potentially wasting thousands of dollars as Google learns and gets familiar with your business, you can add men's as a negative keyword to stop your ad from showing for any terms containing men's, saving you a lot of money in the long run. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less and give you the confidence that you need to manage your own digital marketing campaigns. If you're looking to jumpstart your business this year and save thousands of dollars inside of Google Ads, make sure to download my free PPC cost cutting cheat sheet and I'll leave a link in the description below. Alright, so here is the definition of a negative keyword. A negative keyword is a type of keyword that prevents your ad from displaying for a particular term. Your ads aren't shown to anyone searching for that phrase. You can add negative keywords at the ad group campaign or even the account level and today that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to add negative keywords at the account level. Just like with keywords that you're actually targeting in your account, there are three match types for negative keywords broad, phrase, and exact. We're not gonna do a deep dive into that today, but I'd recommend watching one of my videos about keyword match types so you have a better understanding about what these match types do. There are a bunch of reasons why you might wanna add negative keywords inside of your account. Maybe you've spotted a trend inside of your search terms and you wanna be proactive and stop your ad from showing for any of those phrases in the future. Or maybe you're in a situation where you sell a lot of residential products or services and you're showing up for a lot of commercial terms inside of your account. Whatever your situation is, negative keywords can be a great and easy way to have a cleaner and more effective Google Ads account. All right, so without further ado, let me show you how to add an account level negative keyword. These account level negatives apply to most campaign types like search, shopping, and performance max. At the time of this recording, Google is in the process of migrating some advertisers to a new Google Ads design. And so I wanna show you how to access the account level negatives. If you have the legacy setup, what you need to do is inside the top search bar, search for account settings. And then underneath the pages options, you'll see account settings. And so if you select that, you'll go to the same exact screen that we're about to navigate to in the new interface. Inside of the new interface, what you can do is on the left panel, select admin, and then you'll see that account settings option there. And so select that. And then in the list, you'll see negative keywords. And you click that, and then there's the plus sign button, so you can select that. And in this section, you can add up to 1,000 account level negatives. And so I'm gonna add commercial as a broad match, phrase match, an exact match negative. And then once you're done, you can click save. And then that's how simple it is to add an account level negative inside of Google Ads. And so that will stop us from showing for those terms for the future. I hope that video was helpful for you and if you're looking for more money-saving marketing tips, visit scottredgate.com and I would be honored if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Take care.